Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems on the web at lobbytools.com. Hours after two planes crashed into the World Trade Center towers in New York City, Florida's state capital was shut down. The president's brother, Jeb Bush, was Florida's governor at the time. There were concerns about his safety. Clearly, if there was a target in our, in our community here, it would be the capital. Florida's current governor, Rick Scott, was on a business trip in New York on 9-11. I heard some crash, but I didn't know anything was going on. Ten years after the worst terrorist attack in U.S. history, Scott and millions more are celebrating the death of Osama bin Laden, the man who took credit for the 9-11 attacks. People I worked with had friends that died, um, people that, um, friends of my kids had parents that died. U.S. Senator Bill Nelson praised the CIA and U.S. military for their dedication. It's been incredible the intelligence operation in gathering the information. President Barack Obama was praised on the state Senate floor Monday for bringing down bin Laden. And I also want to applaud our commander in chief, our president, Barack Obama. Job well done. Obama picked up where former President George Bush left off, fueling the war on terror and searching for bin Laden. The Patriot Act is still in effect and security screenings at airports have intensified. And the attacks not only had an impact on national security, but on state security as well. The Department of Homeland Security paid for these barriers to be set up in front of the historic capital so terrorists couldn't drive up to it. Inside, police were added and so were metal detectors. But even in death, bin Laden continues to spread fear. The U.S. is on alert from the State Department to watch out for terrorists mourning their lost leader. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.